Hey, I'm um, sorry that's being uploaded so late. I'm tired. Um, to go to bed, I have to wake up early tomorrow. Um, I have an entomology internship I need to get to with my job. Um, this is gonna take a long time to upload on my computer, so I have to do this, or else we'll be I'll be sitting here till the apocalypse. Um, and my entomology internship, if you want to know about, is actually basically I just deal with big bugs all day, and it's really a lot of fun. And interesting, once you get past the fact that bugs are gross and nasty, it's like really a lot of really good experience. Even though bugs aren't really my thing, I do want to get into biology. And it's a good it's a good gateway drug of the uh, science world. And, uh, oh, right now, by the way, I'm wearing a Cameron Lovejoy shirt. The Hugs Are Good shirt that he sold at camp. So thanks, Cameron Lovejoy. And now I'm going to read Animal Farm which is a fantastic book by George Orwell and it's a metaphor for the communist movement and uh, the ramifications and consequences of that movement it's a really great book and I really want to read it and if you guys miss Harry Potter um, you can yell at me in the comments but I'm gonna read this book because I really want to I'm gonna read a page though because I want to keep this video a little short because I don't want you guys to be put to sleep alright remember communism this is what this book about. If you never read Animal Farm, you should really not. You should really just pick up the book yourself and read it, because it's pretty great. <laughs> Alright. Mr. Jones of the Manor Farm had locked the hen houses for the night, but was too drunk to remember to shut the peepholes. With the ring of light from his lantern dancing from side to side, he lurched across the yard, kicked off his boots at the back door, drew himself a last glass of beer from the barrel in the scullery, and made his way up to the door where Mrs. Jones was already snoring. As soon as the light in the bedroom went out, there was a stirring and fluttering all through the farm buildings. Word had gone around during the day that old Major, the prize middle white boar, had a strange dream on the previous night, and wished to communicate it to the other animals. It had been, it had been agreed that they should all meet in the big barn as soon as Mr. Jones was safely out of the way. Old Major was so highly regarded on the farm that everyone was ready to lose an hour's sleep in order to hear what he had to say. You know what? I'm going to stop there. I'm going to let you guys settle in anticipation for what could possibly be up with old Major. Um, that's it for tonight. Night.